Hey, this is Michael from OutdoorAdventureJournal.com. We're about to shoot a mushroom video. Um, Oliver's about to pick me up, and we're going to meet a few guys. What do we got? We are! So here we are. Oliver picked me up, and we're on our way to go see the guys. Let's see who's there. Here we are, ready to see the guys. There they are, Ed. We got Corley. Really? Yo, you ready to go? Always. We're uh, caravanning up to the area where we're gonna do some matsutake hunting. Um, we're not gonna show you exactly where that is because that's top secret and uh, we have to keep it that way. Um, here with me, I still got Oliva, and then in the van we got Corley, we got Ed, and we have Huck. Um, we're about to climb this mountain right here. Up top is an area people don't know about because it's so hard to get to. And so if the timing is on, nobody has been there. And so uh, we should be able to find a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> On my way up to see Ed. He just found the first Monsies of the day, he says. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That is looking good. A couple more there. Another one up there. Looks like they're still finding one or two. There he is. Number one, veil still connected at the bottom. So I'm pretty close to the top of the hill here. And there's Ed. He can sniff them out like nobody shooting so so got something over here by this tree not sure about how many there and then you can see this uh, this little mound right here got some Mozzie hiding under and uh, found a few more here's one hiding into the leaf litter and right here I'm not sure about around the area. I'm just pointing out the ones that I that I saw right away. But come on over here and check these out. That's over there by that tree. Yeah. We got uh, another good run right here. Kind of waited to discover. There's another nice mozzie there here, pushing up out of the ground, and another one here showing evidence. And then just right behind us over here. You look down the hill and walk down right over there. You can see those ones pushing up. Yeah, right down there, and there's one off further. Uh, yeah, good little patch. And like I said, I haven't really discovered the area too much as far as what, uh, you know. But let's take a peek at this. This kind of looks like a nice little situation here. But yeah, yeah. Looks like some number three action. Number two, maybe two or three there. Still has a little bit of the, the veil connected, and this one seems to be a little flagged out at the end of its cycle. To the left on the on the hill that I left, I didn't find that one. Just found this giant, good size number one. Just a thing of beauty. Hiding out right here in the leaf litter. Camouflaged all up. I can't even tell. Oh, all right, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I found one here. Yeah, here. That's what happens when they get old. Just gross. It grows from the same organism that produces the matsutake mushroom. So these are a guarantee mushroom find as far as the area goes. Maybe not you know for the exact spot but typically so when you see these out so these are a key indicator and Ed was just on the other side of the log up there where you can see his bag and just within the general vicinity he's got some mushrooms up there so just up the hill from those one thing's growing out of the ground see the mound here and there's your mozzi uh, common look-alike cocoli and I'm gonna cut this open my friend uh, he wants me to bring these back to eat, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. But you 
can see how the mushrooms perfectly developed inside of there and then the outer skin tears loose when the mushroom grows and um, these have yellow on the cap and they actually get really big but uh, he'll be super excited about being able to have a couple of these to eat so sack those up take them with too so what do you think oliva it's awesome it's super intense but it's awesome that's finding them over here I just came over here and I saw this over here. We got some oyster mushrooms. Here's the big one that I saw right away. Besides when you find some mushrooms, you get to take a little break. Like, yeah, boys. I love it. Down, down, as far as you can see, you can kind of hear the water in the background from a nearby stream, slash there's a waterfall over there as well, but uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see that today. Anyways, heading down the mountain, we definitely did not find as many as we had hoped, but uh, down the road, there's Ed packing some more in on the way down the mountain, uh, the guys bit further that way they're still finding them they can't stop all right the first few of us made it down Ed and Cordy got here first and then here we got the other two guys showing up we got Huck yeah and Oliva I don't know what's your method there Ed not too much <laughs> That, that was it? The, that was the, it? Not too the much? The number one's a number two into a basket so that it stops the stems from the bigger ones um, from poking the veil, making them worth less money. Plus, like you were saying, the smaller ones are usually dirtier and it keeps them from getting the dirt inside the bigger one. Like in here. All right, so here we go. We didn't find the monster patch like we planned, but... We got uh, several baskets here of some good matzataka. Mm -hmm. We're gonna head down to the buyer. Come out of there and stop them. Good bitch. Uh, cowboy was buying. Oh, cowboy what? Oh. Huh? Oh, hi. Beer? Oh, cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, number one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Great. But now, uh, the mushroom, uh, mushroom is still good, but I go up. That's it. Oh, right. we, we bring in a bunch. So, I'm going to go $12, with number one pound. Outdoor Not Adventure. <laughs> OutdoorAdventureJournal.com. 161. $7.70. 161, just call a couple of hundred. I mean, shit. <laughs> 161. Here's 120, 40, 60, 61, and get all Oh, thank you very much. You can guess. Okay, hi. Yeah, hi. 